Major General Hassan Taiwo Dada, Force Commander of Operation Udoka, credits the initiative's success in ending seat at home others in the southeast to exposing the criminality behind them. He made the remarks during a briefing for defense correspondents visiting the operational zones. The visit aimed to assess the achievements of Operation Udoka. Rapid News correspondent Godwin Amunde, embedded with the journalist team, gives a detailed report on the operation's accomplishments. Before now, armed robberies, ritual killings and assassinations were the order of the day. Thousands of persons have been kidnapped and billions of naira collected in ransom across the five states of the zone, namely Anambra, Abia, Eboin, Enugu and Imo. But with the emergence of the Joint Tax Force, combating insecurity and the secessionist activities of the indigenous peoples of Biafra IPOP and its militant wing have been reduced to its barest minimum. Major General Hassan Taiwo Dada is the force commander Operation Udoka. He also doubles as the GOC 82 Division Enugu. He explains how the Joint Tax Force stopped the seat at home order and restored business culture of the southeast. They have been kidnapped, ransoms paid, people killed. A good number of it from the statistics available shows they are actually from the southeast. So what fight are we really talking about? If you look at the number of people that have been killed, I mean, or let's even look at the Citato. How many billions have been lost monthly? Are they not Southeasterners that are feeling the brunt? So the fact remains that these are just criminals in a criminal enterprise. They are just using this political uh, agitation and sessionist agenda to deceive people. The force commander commended the chief of defense staff, General Christopher Musa, and the chief of army staff, Lieutenant General Teharit Lagbaja, for their strategic guardians, logistics, and operational support. The team of defense correspondents also traveled down to Olu in Imo State to assess if sanity has been restored to these troubled areas. Lieutenant Colonel Moses Akali is the garrison commander. This is FOB Olu. Uh, this is part of the FOBs we use to conduct our operations from this axis. So much has been done. Um, the last operation we conducted was at uh, uh, Mbitoli, that's a B44 camp, uh, where we were able to exhume some corpses after we captured the camp. We were able to exhume some corpses because we saw that they were freshly dug uh, graves. The team of journalists also met with Colonel Mohamed Belo Abubakar. He is the commander, 302 Artillery Regiment. He also doubles as commander, Sector 5, Operation Udoka, which covers the entire eastern part of the country. Where we are here is Osomogu, where in 2022, was known as a very notorious uh, area as regards to the activities of uh, Eastern Security Network, criminals, and IPOB, uh, that is indigenous people of Biafra criminals. Uh, this location where you are now, uh, we came here actually not just uh, strolling in here. We fought our ways to come here. And we're still fighting to remain here. Uh, we fight day and night. We attack them. They also bring some attacks, which are normally neutralized. Why is this place very important to them? It may interest you to note that uh, this place, this Osomogu, uh, not too far from where the Komoda Valley is just part of the camp, all this place where we are. In Olu, most of the communities have been deserted as a result of the activities of this miscreant. However, some residents comment the Nigerian military as no mercy has been restored and people can now go about their lawful businesses. The security situation in Olo has come down now, like before. Before we are running this banana we don't have rights in this banana Like here, there's no problem here. 
here like you see it now, that's how always it is. I'm appealing to the government, to, to everybody living in any place. We are all children of the government. The government should uh, take things soft and uh, try to find the best way to resolve issues. The Nigerian military has assured that no stone shall be left unturned until criminals within and around these regions are severely dealt with. Kadwin Amundi, Rapid Television News.